Time now for sports on SSPTV News. The Greater Hazelton Historical Society and Museum held an open house over the weekend to showcase some new pieces to their collection. Here's Ken Cara with more. Joe Madden may end up in Cooperstown, forever remembered as a baseball legend. Madden is much more than that in his hometown of Hazelton, and now there's a collection at the Greater Hazelton Historical Society Museum that perfectly illustrates that. On these streets, he's not only the World Series winning manager of the Chicago Cubs, he's also one half of the Madden to Jones connection. So you said though the year of his high, his high school senior year in football, for as good as he was, he wasn't the MVP of the team oh, that Jeff year. Was someone used to throw, yeah. Jeff Jones was the MVP that year. They were, they were they were great, uh, but there was they used to call it the Madden to Jones connection. Madden threw a lot of passes to, to Jones and Jones, and they're were, they were the two best players on the baseball team too. As a matter of fact, I think I sent a ball to Joe. I gave it to somebody that was visiting him when they beat Northampton at Rex Santanosi Field for maybe 2,500 people that were there. They went 4-1, and uh, he pitched and he had a three-run homer. That baseball was from Hazelton High School's win over Northampton in 1971. That victory gave the Mountaineers their first District 11 championship. Madden was a junior then. He was named the Hazelton Quarterback Club's MVP of the baseball team that season, and you can see that trophy on display at the Greater Hazelton Historical Society Museum. Madden and his family donated a few trophies to the museum's sports collection, including two he earned at Lafayette College as a football player before he gave up the sport to concentrate on baseball during his senior year. Football, I mean, he would have been the starting quarterback at uh, Lafayette in his senior year. I thought he was great. I, th I thought he was crazy for quitting. <laughs> I think he would have been a record-breaking quarterback if he had played his senior year. Yeah, he was very good. But uh, obviously he made the right yeah, decision. There's no doubt about that. But uh, he would have been a He'd have been a fine football player. Then there's this, memorabilia from Madden's latest triumph, an autographed program from the 2016 World Series, and an autographed copy of the Chicago Tribune celebrating the Cubs' historic Game 7 victory. They're cool, but they're even better next to his basketball trophy from D.A. Harmon. It's a reminder that we all start from somewhere. Madden may end up in Cooperstown, but he never lets anyone forget he comes from Hazleton. For SSP TV Sports, I'm Ken Cara. Thanks, Kenny. Well, if you're interested in seeing the Madden memorabilia, you can contact the Greater Hazelton Historical Society at 570-455-8576 or email hazeltonmuseum at gmail.com. Now time for the social report. 